I want to welcome everyone here today to Hilly Park. A special welcome to those that are watching online. This is the first of our 20 events which can be seen playing all over the world. I want to thank those that made it possible, especially Jerry Bradley and Rim McGill. It's also a first time for the presentation of the Pat Darcy Cup, named after a great deal and a former chairperson of Pro GAA who passed away last year. I welcome Pat's family here tonight on this special occasion. Another first today is our new championship sponsor, the LCC Group. The Lahorn family and LCC have long been supportive of many Throne clubs. Now they have formally come on board with the county and are supporting all clubs. I want to thank them for their generous sponsorship of all our adult championships. I hope that the first year has delivered everything that they had hoped for and maybe even more. And they're represented today by Adrian Scoggin. I want to order all members to support all your club and county sponsors. I want to congratulate and thank our referee Stephen Campbell and his linesmen and officials today. I want to thank Gordon Brunus Gallon for the rendition of Around the Dean and the Fantas Cole Orisha for the traditional music at half time. Unfortunately, today wasn't to be Barrett's day, but it truly has been a great, a great 12 months for your club since the devastation that occurred in your grounds August last year. You rallied your troops, you organised great fundraising and I wish you all the best in your new development and I wish you all the best in your endeavour to reach intermediate football through the league playoffs. Well done and thank you very much. <laughs> to Newton Stewart, well done and congratulations. The flood also affected Newton Stewart likewise, but in the aftermath of it, you showed magnificent character to deliver for your community as well. Now that you've added the Junior Championship, I wish you all the best in Division 2 for the 2019 season. Yeah. Well, we all look forward to supporting you on Saturday the 20th of October when you represent Throne and Ulster Club. And finally, it gives me great pleasure to present the Pat Darcy Cup for the first time to the captain of the 2018 LCC Group Throne Junior Championships, Damien Coyne, Newton Stewart. same as us, disrupted their season, and it's a credit to them, just like it is ourselves, that they're here today, and they put on the work, so I know that they'll be with us in years to come up and intermediate, but I'd like to recognise the whole Bear Club for what they went through last year, just a round of applause. <laughs> I'd like to thank the, the committee this year, sponsors in Newton, you know, without you, this club wouldn't function, so 
to all the sponsors, to all the committee members. I'm not going to start naming you out, but you all know who you are. You give us kit when we ask, new equipment when we ask, anything we went for you. We ask, and I'd just like to recognise you all here today. I'd like to recognise probably people that always get forgotten. It's nine years since we were here. Um, we've had a lot of managers since then. We've had some high, highs, some incredible lows, and without those managers, we wouldn't have been here. So we take all experience on board and push us on, and I'm sure that got us through over the line today. So I'd like to thank everyone that took this team from the last nine years. <laughs> I'd like to thank the backroom team. Uh, <laughs> start my Paul Houston hydration manager. He came up. <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, moving on, Pierce Cannon. He's came in. He's done everything that we've asked of him. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron Gallagher, Aaron McGuire, helping us out all year. Fantastic help. On to, to Connor Mays. A lot of the work Connor Mays does goes unseen for everybody probably outside the group. But this group recognises how important Connor Mays is to this group. He's away watching matches, he's doing DVD work, and he's probably the only person Marty. And he's probably the only person Marty rings all the time and just getting all the, the, the work in. So I'd like to recognise him. Um, Gavin Trainer, somebody's just recognised me there. Stats. Anybody that's a hero came on road. And probably on to the main man, the main man himself, Marty McNulty. I can't say enough about him. Blessed and looking that Marty McNulty chose to pick us. We were on our knees two years ago when Marty took us. We were bottom of Division 3 halfway through and we got it stemmed to the end of the year. And Marty came in with a totally, totally new attitude and lifted the players. And there's players out there today that are playing and they were playing for Marty because he got them bought in that first day. So a massive cheer for Marty McNulty. Yeah. And I need to say this because. I need to thank all the, the husbands, the wives, everybody, because if I didn't thank them, they'd be after us, so husbands, husbands, well, um, no, but we need, to, we need to thank them, like they're letting us out every night of the week, so thank them. Lastly, and most certainly not least, I'd like to thank them group of boys that I'm playing with here. It's an absolute privilege to play with them, I've been playing with them since I've been 12 years of age. <laughs> there's some there's some nights of training, we've been fighting at training, we've been bleeding with each other at training, and it's showing us every night, and that's what gets us over the line is these players here today. They're an absolute credit, and every one of them I'd just like to thank from the bottom of my heart. And last but most certainly not least is the crowd, the supporters. He's away every day of the week, so don't stop now. We're